today is 1st of December and this day every year Sally and I go and pick out our Christmas tree. Put up the tree, decorate the tree, uh, drink white Russians, listen to Christmas music, watch Christmas films and start to get feeling really festive. You excited Sally? Yeah. As soon as Sally's up the duff, it's white Russians only for one. Star machine and our spare change to pay for the tree. I think we need 45. Have you been filtering the change? <laughs> So last week was the antique and interior sale and it was the final one of 2018. So the last quarter of the year done, we've just got one more antique and collectible sale and then we break up for a nice two week Christmas break and well deserved by everybody. Everybody's worked really hard this year and it has been a, uh, a hard year. Plenty of stuff coming through and we've had some good results but it's been really enjoyable on the whole. But anyway, last week we looked at three objects. One was the Chinese scholar screen, we had the brass arms dish and then the taxidermy case snipe. So the first lot we're going to look at is that Chinese scholar screen. If you remember, I put that at lot one. I did that purposefully. I knew it was going to be a good lot. I knew it would have lots of interest and it would make a good price. And the reason I did it was to give me that confidence in the sale. It just settles the stomach a bit to get one good result under the belt. So let's see how it went. Lot number one is the 19th century Chinese carved hardwood scholars uh, table screen. Internet bid starters with saleroom.com at £800. We're looking for eight fifty. So yeah, starting straight away at £800 with the saleroom.com with a live uh, internet bid. And then into the room. There was a lady in the room bidding on this lot. 50, 850 in the room, madam. Thank you. 900, 950. It's always nice to see somebody bidding in the room in the antique sale. That sale more than ever, more than the general sale, is a lot of online activity. So really, you never really get to put a face to the bid. You, you don't really have that sort of contact. So it's nice to have people in the room at the antique sale bidding so you can see who's uh, interested in these things. 1,000, 1,001, 1,002. I have 1,100 pounds in the room, 1,002 I need from the internet. 1,002 with you online, 1,002, 1,003 madam, 1,004. 1,004 we've got now on the internet, 1,005 madam, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008. 1,007 is in the room, last chance, 1,008, thank you, 1,009, 2,000. Any interest online at 2,000, 2,000 we've got, 2,002 madam, 2,004. It's 2-2 two, two in the room if you're interested. In the room then at 2,200 pounds. 
if you're old and insured. 2,200 pounds in selling. So 2,200 pounds to a room bidder against the internet. Quite a bit above that 600 to 1,000 estimate, but I'd always rather an item sell above estimate than below estimate, of course. So I've got that good price under my belt. I'm feeling a bit more confident now. And then we had another good surprise with lot number two. And that was for a Chinese blue and white jar, 19th century. 1,600 pounds. If you're old energy at 1,006. So yeah, two good results under the belt. So I'm now feeling much more settled into the rest of the sale. Now the antique brass arms dish. And I actually made a big error last week, which I'm really annoyed about. I called the decoration engraved. And I knew that wasn't the case. I don't know why I said it. The decoration was punched. Now this was pointed out by somebody in the comment section. So thank you very much for, for spotting that. Now the di difference between engraved decoration and punched decoration. Engraving is done by hand. So the whole pattern would have been carefully and artistically done all the way around. There have been subtle nuances in each leaf. And you'd be able to see that was done by hand. Punch decoration on the other hand is with a little steel tool. So each leaf uh, is done by striking that tool into the soft brass and repeating that over and over again all the way around. So if you look at that you can see every leaf is precisely the same in our dish. But still it's centuries old and this soft brass from the dish bean handle is still softened so it's still a really beautiful thing. But I suppose the difference between engraving and punching means that instead of employing an artist to make these dishes a metal worker can do them and I suppose you can churn them out much faster and much cheaper. It was also uh, suggested that these aren't in fact dishes for arms, they were for domestic use for uh, wash basins and hence the inscription. I'm not really sure, I've looked into it and all I can find is uh, in auctions, in Christie's and Bonhams and other sale rooms that these are always referred to as, as arms dishes, in England anyway. But uh, we said two to three hundred pounds, I thought that was on the cheap side, let's have a look. And 4.29 then is the uh, 17th century brass arms dish, that one there. Well, you start bottom estimate 200 pounds. 150 then if you wish. 150 bid there in the room looking for 160 any advance. 160, 170, 180. At 170 bid, 180 on the phone. And to the telephone bidder from the US at 180. 180, 190, 200. Phone's in against the room. Starting to get some traction. 220. Bids at 200 pounds on the telephone, 220, let's see. We're just at bottom estimate there at 200 pounds in selling. So yeah, 200 pounds on bottom estimate. Not as much as I thought it was going to be, and I was a little bit disappointed. I really did like this item, but uh, it's off to the States anyway. So next up was that Victorine Taxonomy Case Snipe by Peter Spicer and Sons. And I actually had a, a comment on this item as well. Uh, Janet Lindup says that Hubby Steve just noted that the Taxonomy Snipe is in all probability a great snipe and is a rare species, so hence the interest for those that do know. So thanks uh, Steve and Janet, thanks for uh, the comment. Uh, let's see how it went. On the day, on the morning, we actually had four telephone bids. And 362 then is the taxidermy male spice. Uh, sorry. Is the taxidermy male snipe in parcel gilt case by Peter Spicer and Sons. Internet straight away is at 320. A good start online. Looking for 340 firstly in the room. 340 on the internet, two internet bidders. 340, 360 with you, 380, let's see. Bids at 360, 380 with the internet, 400, 420, 440, let's see. See, everybody's really eager to bid there. Sometimes it is that way. You can't stop the thing from ticking up and up and up. With four telephone bidders waiting, 440, 460, 480, let's see. Still with the internet only, 480, 500 with you. 500 bid, 550, 600, let's see. Internet bid is 600, 650 with you. At 600 pounds online and with Sarah, at 600, 650, J Jamie. So into the first telephone now. 650, 700 with Sarah. At 650 with the first telephone then. 700 Jane. 750 Jamie. At 700 pounds with the telephone. 750 Luke. 800 Jane. 850. Telephones come back in. 900 Jane. 950 Luke. With the telephone then at 900 pounds then. It's got it back again. At 900 pounds then. Selling if you're all through. At 900 then. Really pleased with that one. Uh, it came in with a taxidermy little owl as well, which made a similar price. Both came from a house clearance. They were just tucked away up there on the top of a uh, dusty old wardrobe. So nearly £2,000 for some forgotten old taxidermy. But both lots were bought by the same buyer, uh, an enthusiast, somebody that really likes Peter Spicer's work. So it's great to put something uh, in the hands of a collector. So that's it for this episode. 
Thanks for watching and join me next Saturday for the last sale preview of the year, the last sale of 2018. Have a really great week. I'll see you then.